So in this video I'm just going to show you how to put on Lollipop 5.0 with the Android Now ROM. Uh, as you can see you can get it from that website which I'll leave in the description. Uh, and when you click on the link in there it will take you to another website which again I'll leave in the description. And you can start downloading that. Uh, also download Fastboot Lite uh, from this website as well. Uh, so you've got all your files ready and put them all in the same folder as well on the desktop somewhere. So uh, get that downloading. Then uh, you can start downloading the Purple Drake Lite application which will help root your device from this particular place which I'll leave in the description. Uh, on your G3 you need to go to settings, uh, go to general tab, then uh, find the developer options panel. If it's not there don't worry about it I'll show you how to make it come up uh, but if it is there you need to make sure USB debugging is on. If it's not there Go to About Phone, then Software Information. Hit Build Number a couple of times until it says you're a developer. Uh, and then it will come up. Then connect your G3 up to your laptop. Or PC. So uh, once you've done that and uh, you've got all your drivers installed, uh, so that your G3 recognizes your PC. You need to extract purple drake zip in the folder, then double click on the bat file, which is the last one, uh, like uh, for Windows one. Then this will open up, uh, and then you just basically follow the instructions that you presented with. Uh, you just, uh, once uh, it establishes a connection with your phone, just hit enter. If it doesn't find your phone, try reconnecting it again. Try restarting your computer until it does find it. Uh, and make sure you've got all the drivers installed for your LG G3. Uh, but once it's done it, it will uh, permanently root it. And then you can just click continue uh, to carry on. And then your phone's actually rooted. So you can close that down. And then Android backup from the Play Store before you proceed. So you've got all your files to be recovered if you need them. This is where you get your recovery from, your TWRP, the Win project. So get the right one for your device. Mine is the D855. So I'm just downloading that here. I'll leave the links in the description. Try and avoid clicking on these annoying pop-ups. They're really aggressive and will mess up your train of thought. So once that's downloaded, uh, move the recovery image to the root of your LG G3. Don't put it into a folder or anything. Just put it into the root. As you can see, I've slowed down the video a little bit here, just so you can see what I'm doing. And then once you drop that in, it will copy itself. And then you've got that there. Your ROM should have downloaded about now if you've got a fast connection, so move that as well to the root of your G3. It's just a zip. Uh, but for the fast boot one, you don't need to move that to your G3, you just extract that where it is, and then right click anywhere inside the extracted folder. Uh, in fact, press Shift when you right click, uh, and then Open command prompt from there. And 
and then you'll be presented with this command prompt. Then you need to type ADB shell. Make sure your G3 is also connected via a USB cable. Uh, and then the daemon will start. Then you need to type SU and then enter. And then you should see like a pop up on your G3 where the root will give it permission. Uh, you may need to grant it manually, so look out for that. Grant it, or it won't be able to install the custom uh, recovery. So once you've done that and granted it, it should then uh, be fine to go ahead. And you just need to put these two commands in, which I'll leave in the description. So this is the first command. Just copy and paste it as it is into the command prompt and then press enter. And for the second one, make sure that you change the model number uh, to correspond to what your phone is. So you see where I've highlighted that D855, that's mine. Change it to what yours is and then copy it into there and then press enter. And then that will install the custom recovery. That's the first part of it. Now this bit's a bit fiddly. Took me a, a few times to get this right, but you have to hold the power button down and the volume down button at the same time until you see the LG logo. And as soon as you see the LG logo, let go of the power button and then press it again while keeping hold of the volume down button. And then you'll see this screen. Uh, so you just press the volume down button to go to yes. And then again, yes. And then press the power button to select yes. And then uh, the phone will boot into uh, team win. And then you've got your recovery there. Then it's just a matter of basically uh, wiping uh, your cache, your Dalvik cache, your data, your system, uh, and uh, your cache. Full wipe, basically. That's what's uh, recommended for this ROM. And once you've done that, go back. You should have the zip on your device, the ROM. Uh, that's the uh, Android HD ROM. If you haven't, then just boot into the normal desktop and put it there and then go back into uh, recovery using clockwork mod or something. Uh, and then uh, just flash it basically, as I'm doing there. There's no aroma installer, so it's a bit ugly. Uh, but once it's done, it will let you know. And it should be about two minutes or so. So just give it some time to complete. Don't worry about it. Uh, once it's successful, you can then reboot. And uh, it does take a while to reboot on the first one. It took me about four or five minutes. And then I got this screen where it was upgrading to Lollipop. Android is upgrading. So this takes a while. But eventually, you'll be greeted with uh, you know your normal setup for lollipop device and uh, you can just select what's applicable to you so I'm selecting English UK and then uh, you just set it up as you would with any other phone really uh, and then you you've got it you know it's on you can go to the uh, general tab under the settings and just check uh, the software is all correct, and it should say Android 5.0. Uh, but you can see from the transitions, etc., that the software is on there. You know, it looks uh, very lollipoppy. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe. Uh, cheers.